Today is Thursday 18 Feb 2016. This 11 year old female schnauzer came in yesterday noon, it's about 24 hours ago, unable to stand and breathing very fast about three times faster than now uh, was recumbent, not able to stand up she had very high fever at 41 degrees centigrade and uh, was unable even to lift up her head I did check the mucous membrane, they were still pink and uh, the reason the owner brought the dog to me was because the uh, operating boarding house operating operator brought brought this dog to the hospital for treatment as the dog had very high fever during boarding so the hospital had given drips and antibiotics and uh, NSAID but the dog still could not recover from the high fever according to the owner for three days so the owner felt that uh, this dog had hypersensitive uh, feet after the drip and so she didn't want any more drips IV this was the IV drip given at the hospital and uh, wanted the dog to be discharged and uh, sent the dog to me yesterday after three days in the hospital from 15 to 17 of Feb so the dog came in yesterday, 17th of Feb, 12 noon, unable to stand up at all and was panting furiously due to the high fever. Now, I asked the owner, the owner said that blood tests from the hospital show nothing abnormal and uh, they, they gave the treatment but the dog still had fever so she discharged the dog herself and brought to here. Now, I took a blood test and yesterday at 12 noon and the result shows that uh, this nozzle did have low hemoglobin, that's why it was panting as well as the fever and uh, low red cell count and very low platelets at 10. Yet, there is no uh, leukocytosis, the total white cell count remains within the normal range however, neutrophils were definitely high at uh, neutrophils at 96.2% normally about 60-70% to 70%, but overall total white cell count is normal at 12.1% so there was no uh, leukocytosis and no leukopenia suggestive of viral or, or leukocytosis su suggestive of bacterial infections then uh, I gave two injections one is the anti-fever and one is the imadocap for anti-tick fever at uh, 1 ml subcutaneous and 0.3 ml imadocap I am at 12 noon then the blood test taken shows they were negative to all the five Babesia smear negative E. canis antibody negative Lyme antibody negative and a plasma antibody negative and heart wounds negative so really this was a case of a, a fever pyrexia of unknown origin apparently now, I mean, the dog came in because, according to the owner, the hospital was unable to to uh, control the fever and come to a diagnosis. That's what the owner said. So it came in, recumbent. There was, there's another video, and uh, temperature at 12 noon yesterday was 41 degrees centigrade. So I really gave up hope on this dog and uh, since the tests were also negative for tick fever organisms 
still I I get the permission from the owner to give the middle cup 12% at 0 0.3 ml IM and spasmodgesic 1 ml subcutaneous and the drip subcutaneous as well 250 ml dextrose saline and uh, antibiotics and the owner brought the dog back home because she didn't want uh, any more IV drips saying that the dog was uh, sensitive in the joints after the drip so in any case today is 18 but before the owner went back brought the dog back at uh, yesterday at uh, 4 p.m the temperature did drop to 38 degrees C which was a good sign as the dog was able to sit up as the dog is doing now able to sit on the sternum instead of lying flat on the side so so today the owner came back I expected the dog to have either died or recover and surprisingly temperature was 38.6 and uh, the dog was able to stand and walk walk yeah. so this was there was no fever and the dog was walking outside you, you could see the other video and now the dog is back in the cage for for me to give the supportive therapy vitamin k1 uh, dextrosaline drips amino acids and uh, we have to let the dogs increase his red blood cell production and vitamin k1 naturally the dog is not eating but uh, at least the fever has gone off, gone down. So whether this is a case of rabiciosis or not, blood test, blood smear was negative as well. So it does not mean there is no babies here in the blood as the red cells have really gone down tremendously. I will, I'll be getting the the report from the other vet later on by email and uh, presently on day two the dog has no fever more alert but not eating and the owner feeds water orally by hand and this is the state now 12 hours 24 hours after yesterday's high fever on being discharged from the hospital we will wait for any more news tomorrow as to whether the dog can fully recover or not from the anemia and the low platelet count Topaya Vets Singapore PUO paraxia of unknown origin most likely the infection is picked up at the boarding kennel which is actually a place full of dogs being boarded there now the owner did have a vaccination before going to the boarding kennel. So it had been going there for the last three times. Last two times and there were no problems. Except this third time. This third time the dog really collapsed with high fever. And so what's the cause? It's hard to say at the at the moment. Top Vets Singapore.